Hey, Connor. Coach Muss has, you know, talked a lot about just trying to put in some things specifically to benefit you, maybe uh, the way he uses you in pick and roll defense, the Milwaukee Bucks look and, and things like that. How are those things going for you? And then, you know, what does it mean to you to have a coach that kind of invests in you personally like that to feed towards your strengths? Yeah, I think it's, it's gone really well. Um, I feel like I'm adapting really well to this five-out offense. It's definitely different than last year because last year it was more so a four-out one in with a, a true, you know, post guy, someone who would stay down low. But now we have, you know, we're more fluid. You know, we have five people that can be on the perimeter and shoot. Um, so I feel like uh, that really plays off of some of my strengths. Um, I'm, I can really work on the, you know, throw and chase into a pop or a roll and mix things up. So people really have to guard me along with the ball. Um, so it makes it difficult for uh, defenders to guard everybody. And we'll go to Hutch. Connor, what, what was this past year like? What, what, did you, what do you feel like you uh, improved on? What, what did you try to get done uh, this past year being away from being able to play? I think most of all, it was learning the system that Coach Muss runs. Um, he runs things a little differently. Everything's, you know, high energy, very energetic, moving from one thing to another. Um, and kind of being as, you know, an upperclassman now and as someone who's kind of a veteran of that system, um, I, can, I can really try to help these new guys, these younger guys and people who are transferring in uh, to really know the system since I've been in it for a year already, you know, try to – get them to know what the expectations are and how to perform at a higher level. Bob? Uh, yeah, Connor, just what's it like practice and knowing you're, you're going to get to play last year? I'm sure you took practice seriously, but you knew you were redshirting. What, is there a different uh, – I assume there's a different feel to it this year. Yeah, there's definitely a different, uh, different feel. Um, more so this year because I feel like, you know, I can almost count down the days so we can play so it's just, that's in my mind, you know, every day, you know, we're just X many days from being able to play and I'll actually be able to play this year. So it kind of drives me to, you know, push myself and, you know, try to show what I can do, um, get better in my game uh, so that when game time comes, I can, I can really display what I have. I wanted to ask you about the, the senior grad transfers, I guess, Justin, Jalen and Vance. Um, well, what do you thought of their games and their uh, impact on you guys so far? I think they're all really, really good, and we all really compliment each other. Vance is a really good shooter, and, you know, he's a big. He can play guard and forward. Um, Justin's kind of the same way. He's real strong, very athletic. And then Jalen Tate is a really good um, on-the-ball um, defender, and he's really good with, um, you know, handling the ball too. He's a very good point guard, very decisive in his passes. So I think all three of them bring a lot of leadership, you know, and Jalen has also been to the tournament, the NCAA tournament a couple times. So he knows what it takes to get there. So I think all three of them bring a lot of, um, you know, great teamwork and leadership to the table. I got some more questions, Mike, if you can come back around, you know, if time allows. Thanks. Thanks, Connor. Yep. Jordan? Hey, Connor. What do you see are, as your role and maybe some personal goals you have this season? Um, even outside of kind of what y'all want to accomplish as a team? Um, can you repeat that question again, please? Yeah, what do you see as kind of your personal goals? Where do you see yourself kind of excelling? What would you really like to accomplish this season? I want to get outside of my comfort zone. Instead of being just a, a shooter or just a, a big guy, I want to, you know, be able to be more of a threat. I've been working on my post game a lot, um, trying to get better on defense where I can you know, cover multiple positions and try to, you know, use my length more effectively um, to be able to block shots, deter shots at the rim um, and all other things. So I think that along with, you know, just kind of improving my stats altogether, I think is really going to help. Jason? You mentioned wanting to improve your low post game and then defensively. What work kind of goes into that and how much improvement have you seen from that red shirt year to now being able to, to guard guys down low and, and then also have a better 
low post game offensively? Yeah, a lot of it has to do with, you know, putting on strength. You know, so we've been in the weight room since this summer and just working on gaining more weight, getting stronger. Um, and I've also on the court been doing a lot of, you know, hook shots. I've been doing 100 hook shots every day after practice, um, just trying to work on my touch um, and also just trying to be more aggressive down low. Um, you know, when I catch the ball, I can be, I'm, uh, you know, very decisive in my passing. I'm, you know, if someone's cutting, I can easily get on the ball or, you know, I could um, do a hook shot. Um, just being effective down low whenever I get the ball has been like the main thing on offense. And then just defensively, it's all about, you know, just being strong, not getting pushed off your spot. Um, and, you know, with my length, that can really you know, come together. Nate? Yeah, Connor, just how much bigger and stronger do you feel, or heavier and stronger do you feel you are than this time last year? Um, back in the summer, I'd say it was, you know, the best. Um, before, you know, all this crazy stuff really happened, I was really able to gain a lot of weight. I was drinking protein shakes all the time. And I was, you know, close to, I was close to 250. Um, so I was really, you know, pounding the weight. Um, lost a bit of it through this, you know, got a little sick. Um, but I feel like I'm still in a really good position, been getting a lot stronger. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how it has been. Also, I mean, I don't think many people I've talked to or on the team are used to playing with a 7-3 center that shoots threes. Just how they adjusted to your game as far as, as what you do and complementing each other. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely different. For a lot of them, a lot of them didn't really know how to pass to me to start with. Everybody was throwing it at my shoes or at my knees. <laughs> they were, you know, kind of struggling. So I just had to teach them, you know, throw it up or, you know, if I'm if I'm open, just throw it to me and I'll catch it. Um, so I, in in that way, they just you know kind of had to adapt to playing with somebody as big as me. Um, but they also know now that you know if I'm setting a screen, that it'll open a lot of things up. For Form and that I'm also open on the backside for a pick and pop, or I can roll and I can do a lot of things for him. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah, hey, Connor. I was curious, you know, just how you're carrying, how you feel you're carrying that that extra weight, and you know what what benefits the, that might bring for you in terms of like, you know, maybe being able to stay on the floor a little bit, a little bit more, or um, just being able to bang a little bit more in the paint. Yeah, it, it definitely helps with banging down low a lot, um, especially with these a lot of guys in the SEC. Everybody is going to be, you know, maybe not as tall as me, but they're definitely going to be um, more fit or more, you know, they definitely be stronger. Um, these six eight six nine post guys. Um, so I feel like just adding more weight will help me be able to hold my own against them, uh, along with having all the length that I have. Um, and then you know conditioning. I've just been you know, going through practice every day, just trying to get more and more wind in me every day, um, and as well as keeping all my strength. And also, in, in what ways have you seen JD grow on the floor? And I'm curious about y'all's relationship, considering you, you two sat out together last year. Um, I'd say we're probably one of the um, most underrated duos out there. Um, we've been practicing together since last year, you know, pretty much on the same team the whole time, playing through <laughs> After practice, um, I feel that um, we have a, a really strong connection with each other. Um, we know what each one likes to do, and we can really um, play off of each other very well. Um, so I feel like that's going to be a real a big part for us next year um, between us two. Nikki? Connor, you have a really unique set of skills. So who can you look to, whether it's, you know, former or current NBA players or other college players, who can you look to to kind of role model your, your game after? Um, I can honestly look at a bunch of people. Um, we run in the, in the Bucks kind of offense with the five out. Um, that kind of leads me to look like uh, Brooke Lopez, how he was able to offensively, um, how he's been able to shoot a lot better. He's been a really good three-point shooter these past couple of years. And also defensively, how he plays. Um, he's, he's like just a big guy in the middle of, of the paint. And he's, he can, you know, really disrupt everything. And, you know, there's an article that I read 
couple weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago about, you know, how he was probably the most underrated person in the bubble on defense, just because of how effective he was with, you know, blocking shots and deterring people at the rim. Um, and that's, you know, part of the reason why uh, they were, you know, one of the best defensive teams last year is because he was, you know, hold it down, down low. Um, but also, you know, I'm trying to, you know, expand my game inside and out. So um, I'm not really just looking at one person, but, you know, Chris Stops is another person who's, um, you know, has a, a really gifted offensive game, how he's able to, you know, dribble, shoot, score, um, all the above. Um, so kind of just looking at all these other big guys and what these people are able to accomplish and kind of see myself in those shoes and see what I can do like that. Paul, what's your follow-up question in? Um, yeah, Connor, I was going to ask you about the hooks. Are you doing baby hooks and sky hooks? Yeah. And then the way, um, yeah, I think you got the flu, right? It wasn't COVID. Um, but, um, is, like, do you know what your weight is right now? Um, it's hovering around 230 right now. Okay, wow, so you lost a lot. Yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a struggle for a little bit, but, you know, everything's getting back to normal. Okay. I was going to ask about the weight, but I mean, do you have a, a goal weight, like what you'd want to be uh, at like the start of the season or for your career? 245 would be, you know, a perfect weight for me right now. And that's what I was at, you know, earlier because, I, you know, it just gives me weight to kind of bang around with other people, you know, and also hold my own and still be, you know, effective enough to move around on the court. All right, Connor, appreciate it. We'll switch over and bring in JD.